Hey you guys, it's Diane here with Pretty Fun Stuff YouTube channel and today um, I'd like to share with you my uh, July monthly uh, desktop calendar. Uh, forgive my nails, I'm still working on getting them recovered and uh, see my cute little bracelet? I got that from Hobby Lobby. Uh, and anyway, so the collection I am using is the uh, Authentic Calendar Collection, and this was available last year. Uh, you might be able to find some um, if you look around, but uh, I have been working on this um, for the last year. So, that is the collection. I have a... a videos showing the whole paper um on my uh channel and i I'll, I'll link the video below um also this is a design by kathy clement with kathy by design i will also link her video her video tutorial on how to make this um desktop calendar so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and show it to you and then i'll go over some supplies that i used to create it um here is the calendar isn't it cute and it folds down like this and then it pops up so isn't that just adorable and um Kathy also uses this image from the collection. I chose a different um, sentiment here. I also switched um, the direction of my tags. Kathy had them on this side, and she had the heart over here, and I put mine on this side. I also used some Brad's little pinwheels here for my toppers and I used some eyelash trim. I got this eyelash trim from um, Hobby Lobby. Um, and let's see, the little pinwheels I got from this, it's a Bow Bunny Brad's. So I used two little pinwheels from here. I also used the Brad stopper here from this Bow Bunny. Um, Let's see, for the front, um, I used this little flower, and this little flower uh, underneath is one of these. This was from Michael's. The other flowers are from Little Birdie Crafts. This is a Little Birdie, this little one, and I just put one of these petals behind it. I thought it brought in the colors a little better. And then I used a little butterfly that came from this package. So that's what I did. This is an old button from my stash that my mother had. And let's see what else. Oh, really reasonable ribbon I used from this set. Um... And I think this was last year's, but I thought I, I wanted to use something different than what um, Kathy Clement used. And I was going to use this one, but it's not printed on the other side. So it's just printed on one side. This one's printed on both sides. So I went ahead and I really, whenever I got to look at this one, did go better with it anyway. So I think it looks real pretty right there. Um, and let's see, what else did I use? Oh, I used some of these little Petaloo flowers um, that I got from uh, Tuesday morning. I didn't like the yellow little things on the inside, so I popped those off. And I put these Paper Studio stars in the center. So I just, I just they're little brads, so I just stuck them in there. And I thought that was cute. It kind of brings in the 4th of July uh, theme, you know, with the little stars in the center of the flowers. And then I got three little buttons here. I got these from Hobby Lobby. This is lace I had in my stash for forever. And then that's from Hobby Lobby too. I was going to add one of these little um, 
uh, crafter square uh, stars I even painted it and glittered it and everything and then I wind up not using it but it would go really well I just didn't know where else to put it so I just decided not to use it anyways and then I also what else did I use the gold trim was from Hobby Lobby and then there's that lace from Hobby Lobby um, and I think I used four sheets of paper and I had just a little bit left over I had a couple of stamps left over so that's pretty much what I did to the front of mine Kathy's is a little bit different of course she had some different flowers and um, she she did hers a little bit different from mine but I really like how that turned out I think it really is pretty and then it opens up like this and you see the little calendar and then in here in here we have the silhouette and I made the little pocket and I put mine on this side so you could put a picture here and a picture here and I would put a little tuck spot here you could put a picture if you'd like or um, put a little card and journal about the pictures in the little folio so and then the back is plain so I thought that was cute and then uh, here I put some ivory card stock for journaling there and I just used the grid paper and then I cut her just slightly um, and she fits right in here so that I thought that is really really cute so it all fits right in there and then here is where the hidden pocket is of course I used the July and I used that little bow bunny um, brad there I did not I cut the little brads off and I just glued that down is what I did because I didn't want to cover that again I already covered this and then this I is just a little tuck spot here those are the sentiments and then here's the other little pocket with two little cards I put ivory on this one for journaling that you could put a picture on and then here is the other little folio you open it up and again I did it the same way you could put pictures here a little tuck spot there so I thought that was cute and then it's plain on the back and that goes in there like that so I had fun making this today I want to wish everyone a happy fourth in America and um, be sure to check out Kathy Clements channel um, she has the tutorial for this on her channel I will link it in the description box below um, thank you for joining me today be sure to like and subscribe um, and leave me a comment and uh, I will uh, work on getting some more content out on my channel anyway y'all have a wonderful day thank you for joining me take care happy fourth bye bye